Well, I am Christianic, so let's take a video together. There you go, now talk. Where are we? I'm here in Dalman Manch. Speak louder. I'm here in Dalman Manch, you sir. Doing what? Doing this, uh, looking after the buffet. Uh huh. And they're taking care of you. Excellent, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. This, this actually uh, makes a change for all the delayed flights, huh? Yeah. Do you see much fun, fun characters coming in here? Please, question we cannot answer that. Why not? You have to answer those questions. Our, our job is to take care of the food and to take, uh, make you satisfied about the food. You're a coward. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> Let's have a look at the food. Okay, tell me what are these? Chicken? Chicken, 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 and, chicken, and, chicken and, and that's the other one is chicken in the roll. Uh -huh. Then we have salmon salmon here. Yeah. And we have a salmon with all the vegetable salmon here. Yeah. The vegetable inside. Uh -huh. And then another one with a beef club here. Uh -huh. okay. And this? Fish? We have some cheese fish and this for tandoori chicken curd. Uh -huh. And the other way around we have some vegetable. Uh -huh. Like this is peanuts, because peanuts pastry. Uh -huh. Another one is for frozen cheese and fatty frozen. Uh -huh. And the middle one is called the Tatoli. This is like Kelzo. Oh, the other one is the sweet. Huh? It's a um, nut berry stuff, turnover, and it's called Apple Turnover. I'm about to get on board. It's one hour delay. We're going to Abu Dhabi. It's a screwed up flight, screwed up reservation. You increase the flight time by three hours for me. So instead of six hours, it's nine hours flight to Amsterdam. But I guess I'm going to Amsterdam so that compensates for things. As you can see, while, you, while you've seen, um, uh, the system is asking us to go on board now. And this source is the lady here, so... Time to hitch a ride. Finally arrived in the central station. And the captain was lying. There is no way that this is 16 degrees. I want to take this tram to go to Light's Plane. This is one of the experiences of Amsterdam. If you haven't been on a tram, you haven't been to Amsterdam. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Explain. This is where we'll be spending about the most of next week here. It's one of my favorite places around Amsterdam. I'm standing in front of the National Theatre, just beyond the Ramrand Plain and Ramrand House um, and Ramrand Museum. I believe it's just close by as well. Um, my hotel is just across, maybe just behind me. You'll probably be able to see it. It's called the American Hotel. Um, I've never been in it before, but for its price, I hope it's worth it. I think I'm, uh, let's just go to the hotel, I'm a bit tired now. Maybe you can come out later and have a coffee. That's another view of my hotel. The room is not ready yet. So I thought I'd come down on the canal. And look what I found, directly opposite my room, I think. Huge amount of high dangers. This is what I've been laboring with over the last four weeks, trying to get a little thing to grow. I think I've become a little bit successful with the help of Francis and a lot of water and shade and all that sort of thing. But this is what we can expect. And this is what I want. We just have one at the moment. But um, I'm here to buy some more and uh, take care of them. Maybe the last day I'm here and then take them over with uh, a few different kinds. I will have them all over the garden. I love this plant. Maybe it's just a challenge because every time I bought a hydrangea, um, I've never been successful in planting it. I've never been successful in making it grow. Uh, this is the first time actually when Francis bought one from from Scotland on her last holiday. And it actually didn't die yet. Um, I clipped it, the flowers were all burnt, so I deadheaded it. And uh, I think now, hopefully anyway, in the place where it's at, it'll have more roots. Um, and next year, uh, in the flowering season, we'll have uh, quite lovely flowers like these guys. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. This is one of the main reasons that I would like, I would 
I always love to come to Amsterdam. Different sceneries. And in this country, it looks like you just throw a seed on the ground, maybe just spit on it, and then come back to it a few days later and it's already grown. Lucky people. I know I keep going on about gardening and plants and flowers. Truth is, I've never ever planted anything in my life. Um, nothing successfully anyway. I've only started about four months ago, and that's it. Um, and this time, I'm fairly serious about it because I'm taking a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's uh, art manual labor, it's design, it's uh, teaching me patience, which I do not have at all. Uh, to wait for thing. I want to plant something in the ground, put a seed in there, and tomorrow I need to see a tree come out of it. But uh, no, I, I think, um, I know it, it makes me sound like an old hobby to a lot of people. I don't particularly care about that. I'm really enjoying this phase, and I hope it just continues. Uh, we have, uh, Francis and I have a lot of plans to uh, redo the whole garden. I know we've spent a lot of money, we've spent a lot of patience and time and sweat into making it what it is now. But I think we understand what goes in it now. We have done uh, quite a good job as far as the uh, uh, water uh, and the feeding program and, and, and um, uh, sprinklers and all that sort of thing. I think we know what we want to do. Plus, it's coming up to the growing season now, which is September. So by October, November, December, and January and February, as well as March and April, I think, it will be fantastic because the weather in Bahrain is going to be gorgeous. It's not going to be hot. It's not going to be humid past uh, September, and it's going to be pretty regular. I think plants would love it. Uh, less water, but a lot of more manual labor. I hope that when I get back, I'll make a vlog and you can see what the garden is like now. I'll show you some pictures of how it was before, and I better stop because I'm being looked at like a fool at the moment. <laughs> Wait until I get back to the hotel room and uh, maybe tell you some more. I've arrived in the room. Showered, shaved, and it's uh, quarter to 12. I'm off to my first meeting of the uh, trip at 12 o'clock, a few minutes. But to go to the other side of town by the train station. I think I'll see you a little bit later.